It's an overcast day today. This is the first day that I've been out walking or off the property for um, quite a few weeks now, maybe six. <clears throat> and I'll show you my first walk down to the river. Um, <laughs> that's where people used to wait for the school bus. But that's the school bus stop. It's, uh, oops, pretty, uh, just nearly fell down a hole. It's only there because we have a school bus that comes into the village. Not a proper bus service at all. This is a very rural area of northwest Bosnia, just north of Banja Luka actually. About uh, 20 miles away. Years ago when we first came here, I don't know if you can see the bit of concrete there, down in there somewhere is access to a water spring. We didn't have mains water all that time ago. But this is just a quick walk down to the river. And I'm recording this on Map My Walk. So we'll be going at quite a pace today. So at the moment here, as you can see, it's very rural, it's gorgeous when the sun's out and actually very gorgeous when the snow's down. Um, but as I said, miserable today, but <clears throat> wherever you are, um, you can join me on this walk today. There are three that I normally do, three routes. This one down to the river. One up onto the ridge. It's quite long actually, uh, where we can see over the valley. I'll take you there hopefully soon. And then down by the river and come back that ridge up there. Up in the distance past this. These are pear trees and at the end of the season the pears uh, will be uh, harvested obviously and turned into rakia which is it's a type of brandy actually it's the family name for Slivovitz which you might have heard of which is plum brandy this is Krushka pear most fruits here are distilled down. It's a cultural thing. Although the ditch here is uh, a bit overgrown, they will clear this out in time. So once we get to the right season and the snow melts, and the waters are coming off the hills. We don't suffer with flooding anymore. Wow, in a few weeks I haven't been walking. It looks like somebody's building a house. How cool is that? So another fruit orchard <coughs> on the left and the guy's coming down here with his little digger and they must probably laying power, yep. Yeah. It could be power lines going in or maybe water actually, I don't know.
people have, I don't know, I won't say historically, but since the Second World War, Yugoslavians, as they were then called, country doesn't exist anymore, used to go to work in Austria, Germany, and the Netherlands as guest workers, gastarbeiter. Earned the money, brought it back, and built themselves really nice properties. Because this looks more German than it does a house in a traditional Western Balkan style. Absolutely amazing. Nice, large. They made their money and didn't waste it. So looking back from where we've come, somebody's gonna have a nice place to live there in the future. And yes, I think they're digging the power and the water cables. No sewage, that'll be a septic tank. And this is interesting, I've, I've never seen this anywhere else, apart from in this country. This is where all the local farmers bring their pigs and sheep and other small livestock. I don't think you could do a cow in there. And this is a, these are the scales. As you can see, let's have a look over the back. There they are. Pig's a big thing here. This part of the country, pork is the, is the meat of choice. If you're a vegetarian or vegan, don't look away, keep watching. You're not gonna see any animals get hurt. But it's a rural community, as I say. I love walking down here. Very blessed to be here, wouldn't be able to do this in the UK every day and of course unless I lived out in the countryside. Bin day today, Wednesday. The wheelie bin culture. Gets everywhere doesn't it? Now if this was scratch and sniff, this is a bit of a, a smelly one. There's a pigsty down there. I'm not going to go down there to film it. First time I did, I also came out smelling. But this is my walk. Maize, sweet corn, uh, corn, sorry, not sweet corn. What am I saying? Maize and corn will be popping its head out of there. They were here last year. So I suppose it's one season growing, one season fallow. I was watching somebody's walk last night from one of the Spanish islands and I thought to myself, tomorrow morning, I'll show them our blue sky. Yeah, the best laid plans of mice and men, eh? <laughs> this is normally pure blue without any clouds. Tamara said, just go down to the tree, the tree, and back again. Six weeks. And I do, I'm, I'm not strolling. I'm like trying to walk with a pace. Maybe you can, maybe you can hear that from my uh, breath. Well, I am over 60. Give me a, give me a break, people. dogs are at home today but in the future um, 
they will be coming out and if you check the other videos on this YouTube channel it's uh, full of all sorts of videos actually a bit of culture a bit of tradition uh, places that we go and visit not only here in Bosnia Herzegovina but our neighbouring countries Croatia, Serbia Montenegro, go to Montenegro a lot hoping that the restrictions are going to lift so that we can uh, go down there to the Bay of Kotor nice water to see it's a pity that these cameras don't have amazing zooms there's the biggest heron just took off out of the field and we have all manner of waterfowl here this is the tree but um, I'll just go a little bit further This path is normally for tractors. We have a feeder uh, river, tributary if you like, it's called the Turunenica, that goes into the major river of the River Verbas. But very low. Some are water levels. Sound of a pheasant. Pheasants hiding everywhere. So on a walk soon, I'll go all the way along here. That's the plan anyway. Unless we get told we can't go out again. And then right down there somewhere, We'll come down and walk along the bank of the river. It'd be great if I had lots of other places to walk. I could show you so much on walks every day, but we are in lockdown. Masks. I should have a glove on, but I took it off so that you could see my finger point. But I'm sure that restrictions will lift. And then we'll do more of our normal sorts of videos, but at the moment a lot of it is from property, this massive garden that we have, and I hope that um, you, uh, you're you enjoying this. It's something different, isn't it? It's a different country. Not many people really understand about Bosnia and Herzegovina. They still think there's a war on. My goodness, that finished 30 years ago nearly. So we'll come down here to be careful because in uh, the tall grass is the boskop and that is the headed or the hooded viper if it gives you a nip <laughs> you've got to get a hospital within tens of minutes otherwise it's good night from you but I'm sure there's going to be none here and I am watching and I have got ankle protection on so things have changed so much when I first when we first came here um, to live in the countryside I used to walk down here and it was much easier to access the river it wasn't so overgrown which I like actually going back to nature down here hopefully no vipers There's some swans there. 
some ducks and mallards just flying away. And this is it, the river Verbas that flows all the way from the north of the country, from the south of the country. <laughs> Just the tiredness getting to me and it goes all the way up there to the Croatian border where it joins the river Sava. There's some fishermen, anglers. There's a blue car over there with an angler it's starting to rain now. And I'm perspiring. So I'll uh, have a nice warm shower when I get back and my second cup of coffee of the day. I hope the microphone's picking up the sound of the water. I really do. So that's my walk for today. I started just after eight o'clock this morning. Walked for about 25 minutes and it's just got worse. Uh, it started with drizzling and spitting, but now it's raining. But yeah, this is one of the walks that I do. We will be doing this again, trust me, when the sun is out, because it looks completely and utterly different. For a lot of people, Maybe you, um, especially living in cities and towns, you can't leave your flats or your houses and it can feel like you're going stir crazy. So I hope that this gives you, I don't know, 20 minutes, however long it's gonna be when this video is put together and put on YouTube, um, that you can escape as well. Um, a little bit of introduction to the country, a little bit about what's going through my head um, as I was walking along. Uh, if you check out my YouTube channel, together with my wife Tamara and I, we have videos about culture, food, traditions, where we go in the country and where we go on holidays. And we very rarely travel outside the region, mainly because I'm a pensioner and it's financial restrictions, right? Um, but if you like the channel, would you please like to subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And if you press the button, the bell, it will give you uh, notifications as well. Uh, whenever we post one of these, which might be nice. If you see this and you're a Facebook sort of person, uh, we have a Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash David and Tamara. That's in the notes below. Um, please follow us on that page. That would be nice. Say hello. Uh, and when you like the page, then just go to following. Uh, click on that and then the drill down button will show that it's set on default. Just change it to see first and then you'll see us first every time on Facebook. That's it from me, David Bailey. I'm an Englishman in the Balkans. Together with my wife, we have davidandtamara.blog. I'm gonna try and get home as soon as possible. Uh, <laughs> have a shower, hang these up so I can get out tomorrow. Right, see you soon.